2016. I guess I'm still doing these movies, reviews, whatever. I don't know what they're called. Who cares? This one is the movie Over the Edge. Over the Edge, actually, this is on uh, DVD, which I don't often talk about DVDs. Uh, but it goes into along the lines of because I watch so many movies because I'm trying to find like that nugget of greatness and uh, somehow I missed the boat on this movie like totally missed the boat like uh, this movie came out in 1979 1979 is, is a great year because it was near the end of the exploitation or black exploitation era so I my fa one of my favorite movies of all time came out in 1979 and that's The Warriors. Now, you might be thinking like, oh, well, Jimmy loves The Warriors. How could he have not seen this movie? I don't know how this movie slipped under the radar. Actually, I can tell you why. Because during that time when The Warriors came out and there was another movie called Boulevard Nights, uh, there was a lot of gang activity. And within that gang activity, uh, there would be riots in the theaters and stuff. So this movie had a very limited release because those other movies, Boulevard Nights and The Warriors, dealt with like kind of like a gang mentality. Uh, Boulevard Nights takes place on the West Coast. Um, the Warriors takes place in the East Coast. And this movie is right smack in middle America. This movie stars uh, a very young Matt Dillon. Uh, super young like you wouldn't even recognize him he kind of plays like a cool like Fonzie character uh, this movie has realistic characters and it's all about teenage rebellion these teenagers basically take over this town and it's fucking awesome like this movie is punk before punk was punk like this movie came out years before 1984 3 whatever class of 1983 uh, it came out before suburbia and there's echoes of those movies from this movie. Uh-huh. How big is this blade white? Three inches. Almost as big as your dick. <laughs> that I totally forget often is uh, this movie even uses the Ramones. The Ramones is like 1979, like, what the fuck? How could I have not ever heard of this movie? You know, like, doesn't make sense. So why is Over the Edge should I think about? Because... I don't know how I missed this movie. I mean, I, I love, like this movie has become one of my favorite movies. And the reason I watch, the uh, reason I'm talking about this movie is because I watched a documentary about Kurt Cobain. And uh, really, it didn't really tell me anything new about Kurt Cobain. But one of his uh, references in the film, he talks about this movie, Over the Edge, on how this movie pretty much defined his personality. And now that I watch it, I totally understand everything like this movie is that amazing so if you ever get a chance to watch over the edge from 1979 it it will blow your mind it, it will change your life and that is shit i think about